everybody it's your girl 40 shades uh just wanted to check in real quick tell you how my week went last week uh so far so good not too bad last sunday about i think it's about 10 50 p.m i had an incident at barstow california on exit 50 not exit um highway 15 i was actually coming from the 40 to 15 and my husband said, uh, let's go ahead and pull over for the night because we only have 90 miles to our next load and we can't pick up our next one until Tuesday morning at three o'clock. So I was getting ready to pull over to that Flying J and as I came up the um, on-ramp, I stopped at the light. And so I've been sitting there for like about five, maybe seven seconds. And then all of a sudden I heard this screeching sound. It was like, Scoo! And I looked over to my left and I seen this car like he couldn't stop, like he was going too fast for conditions. And as soon as he stopped, bam, he hit the back of the trailer. And it was actually on the passenger side. And my husband, he was in the back seat. Um, and he was in the back bunk. He was laying down. And I just happened to, you know, getting ready to turn the corner, getting ready to stop for the night. And as I looked to my right, I was like, oh man, he just hit the IC bumper. Now, granted, the, the people didn't get out the car, so I'm looking for someone to get out. I got my flashers on, uh, waiting to see how we was gonna exchange information. And something told me in my spirit, they're about to run. So I'm like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? So as I grab my phone, my husband comes up to the front. He goes, what's going on? Somebody just hit us? I was like, yeah, somebody just hit us. And I think they're about to run. So he was like, okay so he's getting his stuff together and i'm trying to get the phone and all of a sudden i see the car back up come around me and speed off and then what was so crazy when he got to the stop light to stop he's like raising his hands like what what what's the problem i'm, I'm like <laughs> like almost in disbelief like you're gonna run off from the accident and you hit me so he and his bumper was tore up like if i can show a picture in here um i may not be able to show it because it was kind of grainy but if i can i'll try but basically he just like his bumper was hanging off he did his hand gestures and he waved so he left so i'm sitting there i'm like okay so since we're in the middle of traffic i just went overhead and pulled over to the flying j so i wouldn't hold up traffic and then once I got settled, you know, called the police, called the company, you got the information. And uh, we had to actually wait for a highway patrol because we're uh, truck drivers. And uh, it literally took them almost two hours to get to me. And when they finally got to me, you know, the officer was really nice. He apologized, stating that they were short staff and that's why they couldn't get to me as fast. And, you know, thank you for being patient. So, you know, I was in a rush, but like I said, we was already shut down for the night. I just sat there. I was just ready to give my statement so I could make sure that it was still clear in my mind what happened and I can give the information, you know, how I remembered it. So once I got the information, you know, they took me to one side and they took my husband, which I don't understand because he wasn't driving, but they still asked for his, you know, license and everything. And him and the other officer were talking while I was giving my log books. I mean, not my log book, my permit book my insurance card, all the stuff that he needed. And he kind of went through it and then went to the back of the trailer and seen where the damage was, <laughs> excuse me. And then once we finished, my husband's like, they found the guy and see the policeman didn't tell me that, but my husband told me in passing because they was getting ready to leave. And I was like, what? He goes, I'll tell you about it in a minute. So my husband got back in the truck and he was getting his stuff together so he can go inside and go shower. And then the police, uh, gave me like a card so I can get to my company with the reference number and all the incidents and uh once they finally left I finally talked to my husband and I guess the guy ended up going to the hospital anyway because he had some young kids so he took his young kids up there and I guess to get checked out and so I guess they knew who who, who it was you know once he ran for me he went to the hospital so um, I'm going to be checking with my company here in the next about five days and just kind of get a follow up to see, you know, if it's an incident because it shouldn't be on my behalf in no shape or form. But you just never know nowadays. It seems like everybody's trying to find something and I just want to make sure my boundaries is covered and I got all my ducks in a row. 
So I'm gonna call my company, like I said, in a couple of days and just get the information and see what they say. But I did follow everything that I was supposed to do, make sure I got the information, gave them the pictures, gave them the video to make sure I cover myself. But with that being said, that was probably one of the most exciting things that I had throughout the week. Um, pretty much everything else was uh, running the routes back and forth and um, ran into a little bit of fog. What was I? I was down in the south, uh, Alabama on the 65. It must have just rained and it was foggy. I mean, that kind of visibility when it's like down to five to zero visibility and, and it was dark. So um, <clears throat> besides that, that was pretty much it. Um, I got better on my night uh, sleeping because now I'm telling my body it's time to go to sleep. We can't stay up in the daytime. And I've been taking some melatonin to kind of help me out as well to kind of go to sleep on time. And then uh, just being behind the wheel a little bit more and driving, <clears throat> it's easier for me to drive for longer period of times. And I'm keeping myself uh, motivated with music podcast sometimes i'll have those moments where it's silent um luckily the nba playoffs has been going on so that's been kind of keeping me going as well so i've been finding <clears throat> excuse me i'm almost going on my throat <laughs> i've been finding a few things to kind of keep me going throughout the night so the second week has become better this week my husband already got us stacked up today sunday and he already got us stacked up till friday saturday and I asked for a simple request. I said, babe, this week, could you see if we can go by Vegas this week? My daughter's birthday is Wednesday, and then my, my two best friends is gonna be in Vegas uh, next weekend because Usher's there, and it's kind of a girl's weekend, and I really wanted to go spend time with them. And I thought maybe, you know, he heard what I said, you know, could you please go by Vegas? And then our, our tablet that receives our assignments kept saying, new assignment, new assignment, new assignment. I was like, dang, this thing repeated itself like five times. Let me look. I know we got a load going to Vegas. Minnesota, Oklahoma, Georgia, back to Minnesota, back to Dallas. Nowhere near does that, did that say Dallas, did that say Vegas? nowhere near so I guess I guess I'm not going to Vegas this week so and let him tell it we you know we trying to catch up and make money and I understand we didn't have to stay in Vegas I just wanted to drive spend a couple hours and keep going so I could either spend it with my daughter or spend it with my best friend so I guess this week is shot and I'll be working but maybe uh we usually do a girl's trip every five years, four to five years. We've been trying to keep it together. We've been friends for 20 years. So we just try to do a trip uh, every couple of years or see each other, you know, just to kind of rekindle and catch up with each other and see how things are going. So we do have a trip next year uh, planned uh, next summer. So hopefully if I, since I'm not going to be able to go this trip, that we do something nice next year. But um Overall, like I said, it's getting better. It's definitely getting better. Um, this week's gonna be busy, so I'm glad that today I had enough time to like uh, work on my business, um, get some content ready for the week. So just kind of get myself ahead of the game. That way, when we running back to back, I don't feel behind as normal. You know, not as normal, but don't feel as behind because I'm back in the truck. I'm just really trying to use my time wisely. Um, working out last week I didn't work out none last week I'm gonna be honest with you guys for some reason it just like the schedule was off and I couldn't get in it and then the days that I woke up late I wasn't feeling it so new week tomorrow um want to get back at it get back working out get back eating it's just for some reason I, I don't know why I was off last week they couldn't have been a multiple multitude of things but like I say I'm gonna try my hardest to get back on it tomorrow and get back on it um I can feel in my pants though even though I didn't work out last week I have been eating a whole lot better than I have been eating the last three months and I feel better feel feel better and my, my pants are looser I'm so glad I'm going down in size in my underwear which I know it's TMI but going down in size so I know I'm going in the right direction and I want to keep the right direction so videos already headed 10 minutes but I just wanted to check in with you guys drop a video and let you know 
everything's going well it's going better so i will definitely check in with you guys again next week um it's time for me to go to sleep i'm gonna go ahead and get my sleep in before we go off for our next load and i'm gonna talk to you guys again see y'all later